All right, Pikmin 4 demo came out. Uh, this is going to be a pretty relaxed video. I'm not going to do too much editing here. Just wanted to share my general thoughts. Uh, not even going to do like cut around the audio and stuff. I'm just going to have some raw gameplay up because you know we're going to keep things nice and relaxing, just like the game, really. Which I want to talk about the vibe of this game much like Pikmin 3 is going for something a lot more relaxed and friendly than as opposed to say the first two games which are a lot more nature is nature and you're just gonna have to deal with that uh, but that's fine I personally prefer the first approach the uh, one and two but I, I understand these are very child-friendly aesthetics and so long as the writing isn't just uh, as uh, Lamb Hoot put it, I'm going to have to put his video series on Pikmin in the description here. But um, as he put it, very Disney Channel, the writing. So long as it doesn't get into that, which eh, I'm not too confident right now that it won't so far. As well, uh, ooh, a lot of things to talk about. The dialogue is, there's a lot of it in the beginning. Luckily, it's very skippable, so this is only going to be an issue on first time playthrough. Uh... And I don't just mean mashing A to get through it, there's an actual, like, skip cutscene button even for normal dialogue. So that's good, that's a nice thing. Uh, one thing I will say is, once I started getting into the actual groove of the game, just getting back into normal Pikmin shenanigans of the multitasking, the running around trying to do everything as quickly and efficiently as possible, that felt really good. That was very... We're back, we're back, baby. This is Pikmin all over again. It's never been more Pikmin than this. We got new types, we got the ice type, we got everything. Speaking of new, I, let, me, let me start by saying this. This is only the second time a Pikmin game has ever been made to be a video game. And I'm pretty sure a lot of Pikmin fans are going to know what I'm talking about, where Pikmin 1 was made to show the processing power of the GameCube, and Pikmin 3 was made to show the graphical capability of the Wii U. I mean, for God's sake, you couldn't even turn the camera in Pikmin 3 because they wanted to give you these very directed shots of how beautiful the environments are. Which, you know, it worked out. It, that game's really beautiful. Uh, but this time, there's nothing really to show off uh, with the hardware this time. The game is definitely beautiful. It's probably one of the more beautiful games on the Switch. But, um... Already you can tell this is here to be a video game more than a tech demo, which is great and Ironically enough, or I guess not ironically the only other game that is that being Pikmin 2 this game borrows a lot from I Mean I am surprised about the amount of nostalgia bait for Pikmin 2 that is happening in this game because how often does that happen? Uh, especially for a franchise where I mean, for God's sake, Pikmin 2 is kind of considered the black sheep of the series, if there ever was one, right? Aside from, hey, Pikmin on the 3DS, but that's not a black sheep, that's a fucking spin-off, you know, that's not even... That doesn't count. But yeah, it's it's really interesting, I mean, caves are back, the... There's no time limit, and the game makes that pretty clear. The, the, you're, you're collecting what's essentially money, but you're getting to spend that money this time. What the treasures you're collecting are real world objects, which god I oh my god I hope hope to god that there's descriptions of them just like the second and third game because oh That was the most enjoyable flavor text any game has ever had I I will fight on that Um, I actually didn't beat the demo yet. I'm trying to get this <laughs> video up as quickly as possible, but I did get the first day done uh, so if I miss any details like that then uh, I'd say let me know in the comments, but you're not gonna have to by the time this goes up I might have already beaten it or you know beaten the demo uh, But yeah, uh, I, I'm, ju I'm just having a really good ass time with the game so far better than I thought because I was kind of worried about some things but other things I was very Enthusiastic about there's a lot of new ideas here. I mean Ochi is the star of the show here and Ochi is a lot. He's definitely like, well, like I said, he's the star of the show. He's he's doing so much of what would usually take like multiple types of Pikmin to do. But seeing what you do, can do with him later, seeing like reviews and stuff come out of the game, or just like, oh, I played the game. I think it was Nintendo Life who like got to play more of the game than the demo. And it seems like 
he's the concept of taking Louis or just a second playable character and giving them their own unique things they can do. So if you think of them more as a second captain rather than a Pikmin-ish thing, it makes more sense. And that's clearly what's trying to be done here. I like it. Otherwise, I, I want to keep talking about the visuals, man, because... Like, one, this is prettier than Pikmin 3. I'll go ahead and say that now, because we have these large, open, freely explorable environments with free camera angle use. That's like... Th I'm surprised this is running as well as it is on the Switch, but, I mean, you know, Nintendo, these first party games, they make them work. They make them work, usually. I mean, fucking Tears of the Kingdom exists on the damn thing. But yeah, um... I want to talk about animation, because squashing a, a, a miniature bulb orb, whatever... I th is that what they're called? Miniature bulb orbs? But when you squash them, they have an actual, like, Looney Tunes-ass squashing animation. It's really cool. I really dig that. That's that's a lot of fun. Ochi swallows these treasures whole and then spits them up at the ship. It's great. It's great. Uh, there's just a lot of... I'm just, like... I just know that once I get past, like, the introductory stuff and get past the dialogue, get past these beginning phases, like, this game is really gonna be fun for me. I I've seen people be concerned over the difficulty, and to that I can say, I understand, and I'm kind of there with you, but I, I, here's some footage of the squash right there, look how good that looks, it's great! I understand the concern over the difficulty, but, um, this is gonna be a lot of people's first Pikmin game, which is why I feel like it's so tutorialized, and... I don't know, at the end of the day, the micromanaging shit, just trying to do better than yourself, that's where the real challenge of Pikmin comes in. But I, I don't know, man, to be honest, I, I, I do... I hate to be a negative Nancy, but I, I hope the game gets more difficult as it goes, because that challenge is... There's Ochi swallowing something whole. That challenge is really important to me, and a lot of people for Pikmin, that like defines the series, because in one... You have this brutal failure state of, if you don't beat the game within 30 days, it's just game over and you have to start over. They they changed that in the Wii version, where you can choose, start at a chosen day, but still, it's like... That's just it. You have the stress of a time limit the whole game. In Pikmin 2, because it didn't have a time limit, and therefore technically no way to lose at the game, the dungeons, the caves in that game were just absolutely... They, they got kind of ridiculous, you know, not only were they designed very cruelly, but they added RNG into the element, too. It, 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 it can get fucked up. Just bombs can fall on you, and there's very little you can do about it sometimes. It's very funny. But, yeah, um... God, so many new mechanics to talk about. You can move the hub of your spaceship and the onion. It, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. These maps are so big. I wonder in what phase of development did they decide to do that? Where they just went, okay, this is getting out of hand, we need to be able to move the ship and stuff. Because that's... That's indicative of map size here. That's... That's a big deal. Because it's not like... That was necessary in the previous games. It never was. I, I never felt the need for that. But looking at the map size of these fucking... Oof. Ooh, we're, we're, these, these are some big-ass boys. There's gonna be some big-ass boys here, and I'm happy about that. And they're gonna have caves, too? Like, this is probably gonna end up being the most content-rich Pikmin game. I think that's probably a safe bet. Because, like I said, they're just making a video game this time. They've only gotten to do that once. Let's see, what other concerns do I have? Again, writing. I'm, I don't like that... We're playing as an avatar who cannot speak, who cannot emote, because Olimar is one of the most, like, well-defined characters in Nintendo history, uh, like, rivaling that of, like, Pit from Kid Icarus, you know? Because he's, he's, he, he has a personality, he has goals and dreams and worries and phobias, like, it's, it's something, and seeing him enthusiastically be a scientist or a botanist and try and make heads or tails of this alien world. It's some of the most interesting stuff you'll ever find in a Nintendo game, and I hope that isn't... I hope that isn't traded away for more, like, Disney Channel-ass writing, you know? I... 
That concern will only be seen once the full game comes out, but otherwise I am very excited and enthusiastic. What else do I hope for this game? Let's see. I mean, oh my god, the stuff I didn't even get to play myself that I saw in the trailer. There's upgrade systems, man. You can, like, upgrade Ochi and yourself and give yourself abilities like sprints and jumps and stuff. Like, that's crazy. That's never been in the series before. And it wouldn't be without this opportunity to just make a goddamn video game, I think. Oh my god, and, and look at this right here. The, the fucking... The jelly, the honey, whatever it is, that the Pikmin drink to get flowers. No, one Pikmin eats its own serving. Just one serving. How nice is that? There's so many quality of life things. If you do a quick whistle on some Pikmin carrying something, it'll only take away just the amount needed so it can still get carried. It's it, it's a lot of really cool quality of life stuff. There's a lot of thought happening here, you know? Look at this. Well, cutscene's got to play, of course, but, I mean, can't blame it. This is This wouldn't explain itself too well. I'm just I'm excited man. There's so much peak coming out lately. I mean God's sake I had to stop myself playing Final Fantasy 16 to play this demo, you know, that's how <laughs> a Lot of good stuff coming out man a lot of good stuff uh, ugh, Gaming is peak this year man. I mean we got Pikmin 4 coming out on top of all this stuff Let's see ice Pikmin. That's cool. That's cool. More reason to not need water Pikmin, uh, or blue Pikmin. Can't wait to see what comes of that. I... There's videos on this already, but goddamn, bro. Blue Pikmin are just fucking worthless now. We'll see what they do, but... I don't know. They need to give them something else. Now you can just freeze bodies of water. And Ochi can swim. Well, what's the point? What's the point? Under... Except for very specific use cases for blue Pikmin, but... I'm getting ahead of myself. This is just speculation and stuff now. We don't gotta get into that. All I need to tell you is... I started the demo... Oh, okay, yeah, last thing I'll talk about. What the fuck is going on with the story? Did the other... Are the other games just decanonized? Like, what's happening? What is this? Because, like... Why is Alamora acting like this is new to him? He's done this three times now. What What is going on? And, and, and acting like Ochi was always a thing? It's weird. It's really, really weird. But the way he's narrating the story in the beginning... Okay, I have a cringe theory, but this is my theory. What if he's just, like, playing with his kid or something? You know? What if he's just, like, telling a story to his child? To his son, you know? It's a possibility. Is it a strong one? Probably not, but... I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. I, either way, other than some story things and like writing issues and maybe a little bit too much handholdiness, which, you know, that'll probably go away. Um, I'm left very enthusiastic after this demo. Some people are a little less satisfied, but the core of Pikmin is still here and there's a lot of new and fresh and fun ideas happening, so I'm excited. I, I'm very excited to see where the, all of this goes. Excited to see how much video game there is here. I didn't get to do Dandori battles or anything, or check out co-op. So maybe, you know, you can just check out my Twitter and see what I think of that. But yeah, um, if, you, if you have a Switch, please try the demo out. It's free, you know, and, and no reason not to. And if you enjoy it, oh my god, please get the other two games that are released on there, the first two. At least the first one, you know, if you're only willing to spend 30 bucks. But like, jeez louise, Pikmin 1 or 2 are some... Those are some classics right there, and that's not nostalgia speaking, that's, that's, those are some hardcore gaming experience right, experiences right there. Uh, and they're also a vibe you're not really gonna find anywhere else. If Pikmin has one thing over anything else, it's the thickest atmosphere of almost any franchise. And that seems to stay here, and that seems to remain, you know, nature-coded, and, uh, Pikmin pilled, so yeah. <laughs> I think I guess I'm out of things to say here. Hope you all have a great day and are looking forward to more Flaccid Entertainment. We got a lot of cool things cooking up. That's a lie. We don't have anything cooking up. We're just flying by the seat of our pants. But, you know, it's still going to be good whatever we do. Uh, see you around and see you next time.